Hi, Hassan. How are you today? Hi, how are you, Nasija? I'm fine. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me in your program. I'm great to that's, be with you. That's fantastic. You know what I really like about you? I like that you're calling um, my live chats with business owner program. It's actually giving me a bit of a perspective for the future. <laughs> I'm actually I'm actually loving the fact that you're calling that a program. So it's just giving me a bit of a some sort of a pat in the shoulder. <laughs> So thank you for joining uh, me, us tonight. People who's not going to watch it tonight can go on repeat. Um, it's a very great subject we're discussing today. It's a black caviar from Iran arrives and lands into the land of Oz, Oz land. <laughs> That's how I call Australia. Um, and I'm very excited to present it tonight because last time in the series one, I tried Tivruga and it was absolutely fantastic it was melting in the mouth but today i have a pleasure to have you hassan in the studio the founder of imperial beluga who can actually give a bit of a more information and the background about the business about the product and the most important thing i'm so 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 lucky to try this beautiful beluga x <laughs> from caspian so that's the most exciting thing and that's a great end of working week for me and somebody to start up. so welcome i really always ask people about their inspiration and obviously you're from iran right originally yeah yes so when did you come to australia or maybe this idea of bringing caviar to australia happened before or when you arrived to australia tell me a bit of your inspiration what actually told like you woke up one day and you said i want to do this i want to no. share the story of my heritage with it's australia a long story and thank you thank you for having me it's a long story i you know i'm a new arriving in australia but i was living in new zealand uh, for over 25 years. And uh, that was uh, my first country which I started living there. I arrived there in 1993. I was a, uh, a second person which arrived in New Zealand as a point system. But uh, my, my children growing up and they tried to move and to live in Australia. And that was the reason they moved over here and we had no choice. We've been lonely in New Zealand and that was the reason we, uh, you know, following our children as a normal yeah. uh, life for all people, even, even you know, some of the, your people as well. And that was the reason, I, uh, you know, from since 2017, I arrived over here and I established this uh, business. And uh, from the last year, we established this business, and it was really good because, um, you know, uh, uh, Buluga caviar is really, really famous uh, for our country and your country and many other country. Uh, you know, uh, this day is a good quality caviar if you want to buy it. Hardly you can find it and hardly you can trust it what type of the caviar you can get it. At the moment, you can see any type of the fish roll and they're calling them caviar and they put the caviar title on it. Actually, they are not caviar. You know, they are a fish roll. And, mm -hmm. and that, that was the reason I decided, okay, why we shouldn't bring and the caviar, which is from the mainland, from the Caspian Sea, this is the first land people discover. Russian fishermen and Iranian fishermen, which that time they're calling them Persia, and Persian yeah. fishermen, they discovered the caviar. You know, uh, a sturgeon fish is living in this planet for more than 250 million years. And that was a reason very, 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 very old and very ancient fish which is living in this planet. And yep. that time when they find it, and that was a, uh, a food for the poor man actually. And as soon as the, you know, uh, the king, the tazars, and the, 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 ro the royal, they find it out. This is a, uh, you know, uh, really food with the uh, lots of mineral and 
a white tummy and they become a royals <laughs> food. And I just really want to, it's a great journey uh, and I think it's great to bring that heritage to Australia because obviously Australia is also multicultural, uh, it's diverse and um, I just want to ask and I think to make it really, really clear because I got so many questions uh, and it's a lot of confusion and I think you already mentioned that. What's the difference, say, between red caviar, so-called caviar, which is, you said, salmon roll, but it's also a sutra, yeah? And there's a beluga, um, sivruga. Why, for, for example, me as a heritage Russian used to have red caviar. Yellow What's one, the main difference is. between these two? So I just want to make clear for everyone because I see a couple of people watching. So this is not even, uh, you know, uh, not Ocetra caviar. Ocetra caviar is totally different. But this is a salmon roll. They're calling as a, you know, salmon caviar. But that's a salmon roll, uh, which mm -hmm. is totally different. Caviar, uh, you know, um, uh, every three years, salmon, you can get a roll from the salmon. Uh, which is big different, uh, you know, a Royal Beluga, uh, etc., uh, Severiga Caviar, Siberia Caviar. This is totally different. Uh, the fish, uh, you know, has to come to the maturity. Yes. After that, they can get the caviar. And then that's a, that's a big different. Mm -hmm. So and, when we, when we grabbing those, red caviar from Sam raw what is it like if it's not a caviar is it still the egg is it still it the, is the, egg? the egg it is a still the eggs every fish you can get eggs from okay the test the test is big different from the royal beluga from the severiga caviar from Oseta caviar you know in the level you can see uh, we have a diamond caviar mm -hmm. which totally different and no one can buy it. Mm -hmm. it I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to try it now because <laughs> <laughs> we're like talking about it. So am I doing it right way? So I'm grabbing the pancake, then I'm putting a bit of a cream, right? Sure. And then I just might use the different spoon. I'll just get a little bit because last time I had it all. <laughs> so that's pretty much here. That's definitely, that's definitely, how does it look like? How does it taste? It's the same as a, it's the same as a, uh, you it's know. It's not salty. It, it's not salty. Like it's not, you know, sometimes you're having caviar in brackets. It's not like quality caviar. It's very salty. But this one is actually quite soft. Like it's not too... Mm. You can hardly feel that this is an egg. It's like just a melting, like a something smooth. Yeah, it's very. Like you put it, you're putting a little, just a little bit, and, it's just, and buttery. Buttery. That's that's the that's exactly. the word. Exactly. That's yeah, beautiful. This is the right way. Look, uh, this is this is this is very unique one because most of the caviar they have a different ingredient. Mm -hmm. This one, if you look at the ingredient uh, on the back of the on the back of the uh, you know uh, your Box. tin, mm -hmm. you can see you can see uh, just uh, fish row, mm -hmm. surgeon row, mm -hmm. and only four percent salt. Okay, four. Four percent. Mm -hmm. And there is no any preservative on it. Because most of the caviar, if you look, they put the preservative on it. Why are they making, you know, why are they making salty? Because they want to shelf life is to be increased. Mm -hmm. And that was the reason they put more, more salt on it. Mm -hmm. And plus preservative. Mm -hmm. to caviar for, to keep those, uh, you know, the fish oil for longer and the shelf life is increased. But this one, we do not have anything. Only 4% and just the fish row. 
that's it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's a it's a even better for your health, like a health oh, like exactly. healthy ingredients, because obviously cave is full of omega three, um, because it's a seafood. As any seafood, it's got protein, it's got uh, lots of great ingredients for your health. Because when I was reading about the, the story, just it's obviously people with cancer, deficient like deficiency people, um, uh, thyroids. Uh, issues here, all of these different issues. They call the them natural helps. medicine. Yeah, it is natural medicine. Yep. We have it. You have a vitamin D. You have a vitamin E. You have a B five, B six, B twelve, and also people uh, with the depression. It's going to help. They're going to help your immune system to be improved. You know, and lots of things. And they're going to adjust your hormone, everything. And that was a reason uh, in Europe, people using it and in, in, in Russia, always then the daily meal for, you know, some for a Russian family. And that was a, that was a reason, you yeah. know, there's a big difference. So do you know the, obviously we talk about, about Russia like quite a lot because Russia is also a um, supplier of caviar, right? And there's a places in Russia like Kamchatka, yeah, for example, where the fish coming from and there's a whole towns where they sell the fish. So say the points of difference, if I'm talking imperial beluga, and I'm talking some somebody importing, say, um, importing the caviar from Kamchatka. What would be the main point of difference? Because sometimes people asking those questions. Okay, why Imperial Beluga? It's okay. Why Imperial Beluga? Um, so, what's the number one point of difference? Is it the quality? We're talking the quality yeah. first. Yeah. You know, all of them, uh, you know, in, in this planet, only 26 spices producing mm -hmm. caviar. The rest mm -hmm. is fish roll, is not a caviar, right? And it's, but um, uh, most of the fish producing caviar, they are sturgeon, but different type of the sturgeon. For example, beluga caviar is, generic name is hoso hoso. And this is from the hoso hoso fish. Okay. And Sevriga is from different fish, same family, but different type of the fish, and also Ocetra as well. And that was the reason, you know, if you look, um, you know, blue caviar is a little bit bigger than the rest of the rest of the, you know, caviar you're having it. The eggs is much bigger. And that yeah. was the reason. And, you know, the Hoso Hoso maturity is other fish as well. Example, we had to wait to twenty years fish to be sure. Have you the people complain so expensive? Yeah, that, 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 that. so because we're talking like a lot of people. It's expensive, but I'll give an example. And there was a day for nine dollars, and I don't know where it came from. Thinking, I'm not even gonna touch because I know it can't be so cheap. Because there wouldn't be, you, there is no way that they can put on the shelf nine dollars in brackets. <laughs> so, what's your opinion about it? Do you think it's possible? Possible. That's a simple, you know, answer. Mm -hmm. well, talking about the branding. Why buy Gucci? Yeah. Why Prada? Yeah. What's the reason? But about the. It is about the quality. About the quality. When you buy, for example, for five dollars or maximum thirty, same thing. You can buy 
bag for twenty dollars and you get a bag for thousand dollars. Yeah. King Bottom is carrying everything, but it's not the quality. The thing is, I think people need to realize uh, somebody said to me that book heaven is the same, but I didn't try to, to argue that it's not true now. And um, by taking your money and exactly the same, and I think it's important to realize that there's a husband used there's a What's your you know, what's the champagne. champagne? Yeah, there's a champagne for hundred dollars fifty, for example, for the bottle. No, so that right. kind of comparison, as you said, Prada or Gucci, you can exactly. get a fake. You can get a fake Prada or Gucci. Yeah, like for I don't know for thirty dollars, and exactly. it's still the same label. Yeah, it's still <laughs> the same thing visually, but you know what you're actually consuming. So that's kind of that type of the quality and level we're talking about exactly people are just thinking you know thinking to have a, a brand product and carrying with them and showing but when it comes to the or health we are not really thinking to why we shouldn't eat the you know brand caviar or brand food <laughs> to, to you know for for our house or for you know for i think food. i think it's absolutely incredible uh, vision of how i see imperial beluga sometimes i, I see it and I, I can see a couple of people watching as well that after lockdown right now a lot of people want to catch up and a lot of people want to see each other do some picnics or actually do something luxurious say hello to each other you know romantic dinners and stuff like that and when you get something like that and champagne yeah and some sort of a i don't know fruit cheese platter whatever it is that's that's a great addition and a great compliment to the table this is like somebody you know say if you've got a husband partner boyfriend it doesn't matter if they bring you something like that it's just a way of saying look let's have a good time tonight like this is a great caviar this is a great product i can see it as something lux something luxurious um something unique so not something you like gonna have a massive spoon and eat every day yeah like a potato yeah or i don't know <laughs> spaghetti my daughter is laughing you know but get something small and something unique that gives you a great boost of energy it's stress release it's a healthy it's great for you so this is how i picture imperial beluga and is it is it this is the how you think it is or oh, exactly exactly if people you know uh, most of the people you know they never tried they never tried and if they're trying uh, you know this type of the product i promise you continuing to have all the time you know because uh, very delicious and very tasty and, and 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 having the brand product which is really important you know what you're having it and uh, you know everywhere but there have be also no, not just not just a buluga even even shabriga even osesra and they are really really nice nice product and you know something is really important uh you know uh since um, 1960, because this caviar, this this fish become in danger, and that was the reason, uh, you know, uh, world community, most of the government around the world get together, and they establish, they establish, uh, you know, a uh, uh, big organization, and they agreed for the trade, which is called CITES, and no one can import it no one can import it illegally uh, you that's, know. that's the question i actually was going to ask um because people need to realize that there's a special those legal in, uh, requirements for this to bring it to australia this treasure of caspian to bring it to australia so it's not just you order it and they just send it to you so you need to make sure that everything is legal yeah, you've got all your paperwork, you've got all your certificates. So you want to make sure it's a real thing. It's not a fake. It's not 
you know, just sort of a, something black and you're thinking, what is it? You know, it's actually real caviar. So is it was it hard for you to get those paperwork for as a founder of Imperial Beluga or was it easy process for you as well? It, it is a long process. It's a long process. For example, uh, we need to apply for the CITES from the country of origin and from our Australian government. You know, uh, that is, that is, you have to have an old document because uh, this fish, has, as I said, is in, it was in danger. And mm -hmm. this CITES, which is, you know, uh, stand for the uh, Convention on International Trade in Endangered Spices of the Wild uh, Fauna and the, and, and, and the Flora. And this is certificate you have to have, it. you know, before you import, you have to talk to the supplier and you have to get a CITES from the yep. country of origin mm -hmm. and then present it to, uh, uh, you know, to the, to the uh, wildlife in, New in Australia and get approval from Australian government as well. Mm -hmm. And each fish, when you know, when uh, things come in like that, all of them they have it. They have all the details in the paperwork. What fish number they catching this, for example, raw from that fish? You know, the name of the fish must be there. The tins number must be there, and the the, the weight must be there. And they 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 check all the information. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you cannot import it. They, they're gonna and, I, and, I, and I think the right, the right thing to do because, like, it's a bit of a it guarantees to a consumer that it's a real product here. Yeah? It gives you that certificate, is give you that insurance that this is a real product. I think it's a probably the right thing to do to make mm -hmm. sure that it's not you a know, fake. And also, you have to have it, for example, if I show you, for example, this is a government cert, uh, an Australian certificate, which mm -hmm. you have to obtain. And custom, custom need that one. And you have to present it to the Australian custom as well. And also, not just that one, and also health certificate. You have to have a health certificate from the uh, country of origin. It must, you know, comply with the with the with the product coming to the country, and yeah, and and also the product which all of the list of the product must be there. Okay, you know, I can see. So legal, lots of legal requirements. Yeah, lots, lots, of, <laughs> lots of things must be there. Otherwise, you can't. So, so I know that you are doing really well right now. Uh, so do you have a lot of customers across Australia? Like, do you have any supply chain, like bigger stores, like shops, stay uh, in a different uh, state as well? At the moment, uh, you know, there is a, a different way of the purchasing product. People, they can purchase online. Mm -hmm. That's so simple and easy. They can, they can purchase. We just sending with the express post to them. And mm -hmm. uh, we have a, a supplier in Brisbane, which is, um, you know, uh, called Persian. If anybody wanted, for example, to buy this caviar, they can go, you know, to the Persian store in the Brisbane. And in Melbourne, uh, we have a different way. And, uh, you know, uh, Dish Delight, which is a uh, yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> in, uh, uh, um, I think 465 Central Road. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a supply there. People can Fantastic. buy product, <laughs> product from them. So pretty and much all Australia knows about you. Hey? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. What, what about Western Australia? Do you have in West your cabin? Um, Not yet? Uh, at the moment, uh, we don't have any. We don't have anybody. We don't have anybody. We if anybody interested, we are happy even to have a stockholder there. If anybody interested, we can send to them as well. And also, Mentolo Gourmet also is selling online or product. Uh, you know, people can from them as well. But the price across the all these shops and website all is the same. No one is allowed to sell, for example, extra more than what we're telling them to sell it. 
at prices everywhere is the same in Brisbane, in Melbourne, in, in Sydney, all over, all over the, uh, you know, country price should be the same. Yeah. I just want to ask another thing that uh, might be a bit of a controversial thing to ask, but I will do that. Um, I had a couple of people saying that obviously caviar because it's a X, yeah, like it's a fish X. And I know you like you know what, what the question I'm gonna ask. Um so in terms of the I don't know, because like I'm a fan of caviar. A lot of people are a lot of people understand that it's it's a seafood and pretty much everything that is swimming, walking. You know, if you're not vegetarian, it it's kind of falls into category that it's ethical because I don't think that. But how would you respond to people who are saying that it's a baby's ex or, yeah. uh, you, you know, it? How, what would what would your response would be? Because a lot of oh. people saying, "Oh, I'm not a fan because it's ex and fish okay. ex." That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a good question you asked. Yes, some some people also asking same question from myself. But before I go to that question, I just want to um, offer your a follower, especially okay. your fifty gram caviar, twenty percent <laughs> discount. Uh, but discount, uh, this discount is special for your followers and on fifty gram things. Uh, this is not on our website. People, they need to contact me, and definitely we're going to post to them or we're going to take to them and deliver to them. And this is this is offered to your followers to watching your program. That offer is only valid for one week uh, on Sevriga Caviar on 50 gram and or in Bluga Caviar. This is only for... And that was the reason I want to offer this one. Yes, people sometimes asking that one. Um, you know, I don't want to have a baby fish. <laughs> uh, wrong assumption. Uh, you know, if you think that way, then you shouldn't have eggs. Every day, having, <laughs> every day you're having the chicken. <laughs> exactly. Everything. In this case, you should be vegan, I guess. Yeah, exactly. if you're vegan, you want chicken. If you're vegan, oh. yeah, like in this case, yeah, I agree. I it's like this long process. You know, eggs by itself cannot be a fish. Mm. You know, and like a normal eggs, like a chicken eggs. You know, it cannot be a uh, chicken. They have to. They have to. You know, put in the machine or you know the main sperm. You have to get it and. You know, uh, to mix it and then uh, become a become <laughs> become huge, <laughs> and that is that is wrong. They they you know, uh, is if you want to sing that way, even you shouldn't have a meat. You shouldn't because you're killing, you know, Animals, yeah. cow, cow or you know. <laughs> yeah, look, I I I I agree with that on this one. Um, I think it's always could be. The fact that maybe people don't like fish as it is, like just a fish as the fact, yeah. Or, but this particular sort of um, answer kind of sort of um, I was kind of stuck thinking how would I respond to those people, yeah, if they would answer this, if they would ask this question. So, and I'm kind of with you on this one. I think the same because it means you just have to be vegan or vegetarian, even vegan. Because vegetarians yeah. still having some sort of a protein. Um, well, kind exactly. Of you know, for example, uh, you know, if even even uh, the, you can't even uh, you know smell uh, fish smell on this type of the caviar, and you're trying now. Uh, what is your opinion? Uh, what do yeah. you think about? And even even you don't need it. You don't need to use anything. Uh, you know, mm. it's really soft, like it's buttery. It's it just but, melts in your mouth. It's it's like a delicatessen. You know, you, you you're trying to sort of. It's like you know, you just try not to have a lot of it. You just exactly. trying to enjoy it. <laughs> this is this is different. Different. You have to have it when you're serving it. You have to have it in a cold, and but. When you want to try it, it must be on the top of the ice. 
still must be cool when you're serving it. Yeah, you know, okay. That's different. Some, some caviar, even, you know, coming from different country, uh, the pasteurizers, and that is, that is because, uh, you know, when they want to do that way, they're doing under the heat, heat which is about 50 to 70 degree, is changing the taste of the caviar, changing the flavor of the caviar. But this royal beluga, which is coming from Caspian Sea and Iran, is packing under the cold system, okay. is not heating them. And that was the reason mm -hmm. that the fish roe is not changing. And even the color is not changing, and that's a, that's a big difference. And even when come when we're talking about the Caspian Sea caviar, that is the main place of the this fish at the moment. You can see China is producing the uh, beluga caviar, yep, and yep, yep. In some country, you know, like a, the the same caviar coming from the from the European country. But the reason is Caspian Sea is uh, the biggest uh, natural water in the planet and, okay. you know, clear water. And that's a, a place for the, this type of the fish. Yeah. And the water they're using it and producing different type of the caviar than people in farming in different other country. This farm caviar is also farm caviar, but farm with the, that water of the Caspian Sea is not normal water. So yeah, it, it's even different water. So the water quality is different as well. Yeah, and that's the, also part of the reason uh, the price, quality, water, all these components. Um, I just want to get back to that offer that you made for people who follow me um, on Instagram and on Facebook, um, obviously people who just follow me um, on Facebook and like a general platform. So because you offer 20% on 50 grams. Sure. Um, so if, for example, for everyone who's going to watch it, so how would they be able to order it um, from you? Me on um, 0424. Zero nine nine four. Yeah, yeah, I'll, yeah. Well, I'll we'll pop it in the number under this uh, video as well when we are finished. Exactly. Uh, so, but basically, they will have to give you a call. And yeah, they, text they, me and they call me because we didn't put this one in the website because that is just available for your followers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's like a special. So, uh, let everyone know that. The, the best ways to reach you out as well, apart from the website, you've got um, Instagram. That's right. So you've got Instagram where you're pretty much placing all your beautiful uh, photography and product range. And say, like, I can see that you're putting here in the fridge, yeah? No. Just, just keep it nice and cool as well. <laughs> You know, because that is that is there is no preservative in that uh, you know that type of the caviar, no preservative, not much salt. People they have to be careful. They don't need to, for example, order caviar uh, one month in advance, right? If they have any occasion, if they have any, just they can contact us a, a week earlier. Exactly, mm -hmm. and manage to take it two days before their, you know, uh, a program they have or function they have. Mm -hmm. Because we have a facility to keep this caviar on the right temperature uh, because, uh, you know, or temperature or fridge temperature is minus three okay. and, uh, and uh, even minus four uh, because this caviar is not freezing even up to minus five. And that's the good things from for this caviar is not freezing. But because the fridge is temperature is slowly changing it, going to minus five and it's slowly coming to minus four, minus three. And that was the reason it's not gonna freeze. But it shouldn't go under minus five. 
And that is something we keeping this caviar safe and they can contact us. We can provide to them. We can just take them. Fantastic. Yeah, that's a good one. And also, obviously, the delivery uh, will be free. Yep. Across uh, the Melbourne. In absolutely. But in the other city, we just only charging them $15. You know, the express post, it costs us about something around $22. But we pay the rest. But people normally, they paying, you know, uh, $15 just for, for delivery. Yeah, yeah, which is which, which is quite stand, which is yeah, which is quite a good price as well. If you wanna get your caviar on time, yeah, and make sure exactly. it's uh, at at your doorstep. That's fantastic. We have also, yep. Uh, we have also, you know, mother to poo a spoon, and this is this is this is something uh, you know uh, people yeah. can purchase. People can get it, and you mm -hmm. have one. And also, yeah, I do. <laughs> definitely. At the moment, you know, we are for the boxes, we are out of stock and we're waiting for the new shipment. And also, we have, for example, uh, for the, you know, uh, gift boxes. We have gift mm -hmm. boxes as well. And this is, is also coming. That's beautiful. Gift box with the ice behind it. Oh, that's a good idea. That's perfect. So, that's but this right. ice will be put just before you send it, or like? Oh, exactly, exactly. Before we send to them, yeah, we put it. You know, this is a the ice keep. You know, keeping caviar safe. And this is especially for the, for example, for a Christmas gift, which we can, we can, you know, people can order if they want to give gift to anybody. And also we have a different size of the caviar as well. And we have a starting from 10 gram, uh, going to 50 gram, going to uh, for 50 gram and 100 gram. It depends mm -hmm. to what, what the people demand, what the, you know, uh, people want it really. Mm -hmm. And we can organize that one as well. And what would be the price of this box? Price? Yeah. For this right. box, like the gift box, the one that you've shown, like oh, how much about, would it be? Uh, uh, the gift box, uh, actually, we're waiting for the uh, Aura stock to arrive. We, we are okay. at the moment out of the stock, but the mm -hmm. gift box, which is, you know, uh, very nice, very nice. We're just thinking for just, you know, give away for the Christmas time for the people. If, you know, for example, somebody buying 100 gram, uh, which is definitely we're going to give a spoon and, you know, a spoon and the, and the gift box for a free. Um, but if somebody wanted to buy it, it depends between 25 to $30. Actually, it's not just the gift box coming with the spoon as well. That mm -hmm. is the spoon, which is, uh, you know, you can see the, the Imperial Blue Guy spoon. Yep, uh, you know we were just offering them as well. Mm -hmm. This okay. is we and we will offer to them, and also very nice boxes. We just you know it's coming. This is all all, all branding. Uh, you know, Imperial Blue Guy is Australian brand. You know, this is Australian brand. We established this you know uh, company over here, and that was the reason we called them Imperial Blue Guy. And we importing the the top quality, top quality caviar uh, from Caspian Sea. I love uh, that. I love that you're saying this because you know a lot of businesses they're thinking that uh, they're not Australian. They're thinking that they come here, and if the product comes from somewhere else, it doesn't mean it's Australian. But I also believe that, and this is what the message for my blog is and for what I currently do, that people who are here in Australia and they're sharing this story, even the story is the heritage focused, yeah, around, I don't know, amber jewelry, caviar, yeah. Uh, anything that you want to bring in here, um, Jewelry from India, for example, yeah, food from Italy. So it doesn't matter. We're all Australians here. 
So we have Australian business-based businesses, if it makes sense. The tautology of my wording. <laughs> but the bottom line is we are we in Australia sharing the story under one umbrella and bringing different products here. And this is what the message of what actually I'm trying to do as well on my behalf to bring people with a different story and allow them to tell the story of the business. I think it's a, it's a beauty uh, of the country. You know, when you're talking about the uh, multiculturalism and you can see, you know, we have a, a you know, uh, a different culture. Uh, you know, in the past I was working, uh, you know, in the, uh, um, you know, uh, social uh, service organization I was managing and directing. Um, but sometimes people are thinking, oh, why I have to learn different culture? You know, that was always I argue with them. Why you shouldn't? Yeah, and that's right. <laughs> you can see the good side and you can see the bad side. Any culture we have, you guys have, we have, Australian have, we can take the good part of the different culture, good part of the food of the different culture, and add it to our values. Our culture is our values. And we adding to our culture. It means we adding more values to our belief system, to our culture. And that was the reason, you know, people newly coming from the, some other country, and you can see you are so different. You haven't finished yet. No. <laughs> I'm going to share it with my husband as well. Oh, okay. He needs to share. Get, you he needs not get, to share. He needs to try. You know, he needs to share. He needs to try. Absolutely, look, I I agree with you hundred percent. And I think, in the end of the day, I think if you bring to Australia something valuable, something quality, you give something unique. Definitely. Something that you know you you bring in that validity and acknowledge the fact that people might explore something different and take you on the journey and enjoy that and especially food food is massive but there's a different types of food there's a different types of approaches there's a different preferences in food but i think cave is something that will always be part of heritage regardless Exactly. You know, the, the caviar is, uh, as you know, this is a, a one of the expensive food in the planet. <laughs> we all know about it, especially when it comes to the top quality caviar, which we call diamond. Thirty-five thousand U.S. dollar for a kilo of the caviar. Why people paying for it? Because they want to have a good quality. And that was the reason, you know, your follower and your viewer must know they paying for the top quality product, top quality brand product, which is we're calling them Royal Beluga. And even the Royal Beluga, which we importing because they have a different level, they have a different grade, you know, because three zero, two zero, one zero, which is this one is one grade above the beluga caviar, which is, you know, uh, you know, a zero, zero grade. And that was, a, that was a people paying for the top quality food. And that was the reason the price is, uh, you know, a little bit expensive. <laughs> but that's all right. Hopefully um, someone who's watching tonight and I'll share this video, I'll share this interview with everyone I can possibly. Definitely. And regardless of what's going to happen tonight, people will learn something about you. They will learn who you are. They will learn that Imperial Beluga exists in Australia and where to go when they've got a wedding, where to go when they've got a romantic dinner, whom they have to call when they have a party or whatever they want, something luxurious, you know, something unique. They know where to and go now. Them, please try it. Try it. Because Absolutely. You know, if, you don't want, if you don't want to buy even the big one, we have a 10 gram one. You can try it. You can see the difference between the, you know, between the fish row and the caviar. And you can you can find it out yourself. Try it. See what's the different. What's the different between the beluga and what's the different between the beluga and even Sevriga or etc. And this is this is something you can try and you can see, you know. 
uh, that's my advice. If you want to find it yourself, please give us a call. Give us a call if you have any question. We are more than happy. We are more than happy to answer. I, I'm a I'm patient person. Then, you know, they can call. They can, they can talk. <laughs> yeah, I can see you're very patient. And as the business owner, it's very important. And people, again, who's watching, they know who's behind of this. Exactly. And it's great to see the faces because sometimes you're purchasing something online. You don't know where you're purchasing from. You know, you don't know who these people are. You don't know the origin. So when they see you, they know you. You know, they get to know you. That's so it's a very, it's a very yeah. important thing because people see agree? and they, they get that trust and uh, credibility as well. All right, thank you so much. Uh, once again, twenty percent for fifty gram of beluga for the next week. I'll make a couple of posts again and share this post around. Beluga as well. Beluga as well. Uh, and yeah, so please. Give a call, uh, ask any questions. Um, happy to answer those questions again. And yeah, this is a beautiful last one. It's beautiful. Look how sparkling it is shining, isn't it? Definitely. It's actually shining. It's like a look at this. That's beautiful. It's just beautiful. Thank you so much for being here tonight. I really, really, really appreciate it. Thank uh, thanks for taking the time. We, we spoke nearly for 47 minutes, which was great. <laughs> it's a bit of a more time than we normally do, like almost half an hour, 40 minutes. So share this video around, let everyone know, um, and we'll see you all very soon. Thank you so much yes. and have thank a lovely night. Have thank thank you. Night. I do appreciate you the time. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.